Bring so you dated black guys. Loved black guys. Yeah. 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 I did. I did. But for me, dark meat on the side, white keeps me mean and lean. You know, that's why I, I married white man. That's what I like. Mike. What do you mean, dark meat on the side? That means, honey. <laughs> that's I. You know what that means. Wait, what are you reading it at? I'd <laughs> like your main man to be white and the, your side be okay. no, 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 no. Now, before we break down that clip, I got three things that men need to know and one extra thing at the end that specifically black men need to know. But number one, Jeezy filed for the divorce. That is significant. Because the person who files for the divorce is the plaintiff. The person who doesn't file is the defendant. They are more likely to believe what's being said by the person who was moved to file than what they are willing to believe and listen to the person who's on defense. So good job on Jeezy getting out in front of it and just filing first, regardless of who was right, who was wrong. If you know it's over, get out in front of it. Number two, he's pursuing joint custody, joint legal and joint physical custody with as close to possible, with as close as possible as the same amount of overnights will reduce, if not full blown, absolutely eliminate child support. He's the one who wanted the baby anyway, because she was determined to not get pregnant by the white man that married her. But she somehow reluctantly broke her rules for her, as she said, dark meat on the side. So him filing the divorce pursuing equal time, and if he hasn't formally moved out of the marital home, that will increase all the chances that he will get what he wants. Number three, he filed a prenup. If everything checks out because they like to find reasons to throw out prenups, she's worth $4 million and he's worth $10 million. If constructed properly, it could work out to where she walks away with what she came in with plus her TV salary, and that's it. This is one of the few celebrity divorces where I think that the man can actually make it out of this thing unscathed. Number four, now to the messy stuff. In the video that I played, she basically admitted that she, much like a noticeably high percentage of white women, don't ask me how I know this, they like to have fun with black men but marry white men, and that's okay. Nothing wrong with a little fun. But if you are a black man and you're with a non-black woman, you're... And, and and if you're taking it serious, you need to know if you're just a placeholder until she gets ready to settle down. Jenny May had the same exact rhetoric eight years ago that makes me shocked that she actually married him. There are obviously non-black women who love and have healthy relationships and marriages with black men. But for the ones who just want some dark meat on the side, you don't want to get too entangled in that situation because it could be over before you know it. Jenny May always said the right things and she always seemed to honor him. So it's a little presumptuous to take a leap based off a comment she made eight years ago, but it's hard to ignore this comment as well. So let me know what you think in the comment section about her comment and everything overall.